Okay, Joe, I'm ready. Okay, here we go, Felix, item one. Depress rise the suit, reinstall hose and cover. I need you to respond, Felix. Respond to my commands. Item one, depress rise suit, reinstall hose and cover. Felix, confirm depress rise suit, reinstall hose and cover. Over. Suit is depressurized, reinstall hose and cover. Attaboy. Item two, check bailout bottle pressure. Thank you. Check location and security of all four parachute handles. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, item four, check door stop to open. Door stop is open. I can see the green. I repeat, door stop is open. I can read the green. Thank you. Item 5. Stow hand warmer. Turn capsule switch F6 off. Watch trot 6 off. Six, activate suit and chest pack cameras. Item 7, move pilot monitor to the exit position. Pilot monitor is in the exit position. Item 8, remove UCD hose, close valve, and zip pocket shut. Nine, turn O2 and into flow valves to the closed position. O2 and L2 flow valves is in the closed position. Thank you. Item 10, we're going to skip because your sunshade is already down. Item 11, remove vent tube from feeding port. Item 12, set visor heat to full power. Now, we would have done that. Or it needed. 
I'm sorry. Felix, um, item 12, set visor heat to full power, verify chest pack red LED is on. Visor heat is to full power, and face heat red LED is on. Thank you, Felix. Item 13, verify face seal tight. Item 14, move seat to the forward position. Okay, item 15, turn off liquid oxygen supply levers 1 and 2. Box 1 and box 2 are off, the both went down to 60 PSI. Return the oxygen supply levers back on. Oxygen supply levers are back on. Item 18, system pressure 70 PSI. That is correct, system pressure 70 PSI. Item 20, adjust helmet tie down. Okay, we're getting serious now, Felix. Item 21, use the dump valve, depressurize the capsule to 40,000 feet, and confirm a pressure suit inflation. Let me know when it inflates. I'm pumping the calibration off to 40,000 feet. And let me know when your suit pressurizes. Where you see over on the right in that graphic on air pressure, how the air pressure is dropping as he intentionally okay, lowers the air pressure pressurized? in the capsule. And now he's confirming that the suit has uh, Felix pressurized. Confirm uh, that your pressure suit is inflated. Over. Confirm to the suit pressurized. Thank you, Felix. So that's Item all worked as it's supposed to. Remove and stow suit vent hose and suit exhaust hose. Copy 
Okay, Felix, uh, from now on it gets really serious because we're getting ready to depressurize the cabin. And uh, our guardian angel will take care of you. I am 24, depressurize the cabin to ambient altitude, which is 127,800 feet. I'm doing it now. Now watch the rest of that pressure drop off. From the graphic on the right hand side, the upper graphic, the lower graphic as well. Attention on the net, this is Mission Control. Felix is depressurizing the Stratos capsule to ambient outside barometric pressure. He's at an altitude of 127,900 feet. So the air outside there is so thin that it's a virtual vacuum which means that as Felix jumps, he has no resistance. And for the first part of the jump, can't control his position. So what will be critical here is that when he jumps, to avoid any fast spin or tumble. And if it works at, as the other jumps did, you'll see it as a little spot on the infrared camera as he jumps out of that capsule. Oh, the door's not coming in. Felix, we're, we're still, we're only at 100,000 feet. You still got 100, you got 28,000 feet to go. The door will open when you reach ambient altitude of 128,000 feet. And right now you're about 100,000 feet. So you got about 28,000 feet more to go. Just keep dumping the pressure and the door will open. Okay, I'll wait. So you notice that ascent did level off. He has reached the float altitude and the balloon is not going much higher. It bobbles around up there, around the 128,000 mark. So that's about 24 and a half miles high. So they've told him when he stands out there on that little skateboard. You're 112,000 feet. Keep dumping her. She's coming up. Keep her going. On that little skateboard-like platform. They've practiced this a lot, and they call the technique a bunny hop. Okay, I'm leaving. You're supposed to jump off there, just kind of dropping. Because at first, as I say, you'll have no control because there's so little resistance. They do expect he may roll a little bit. He did last time. Seven or eight times, actually. A gentle roll over. And that's not risky, not dangerous. What one hopes against is a in the cave, about 112,000 feet now, Felix. A fast spin. Head 127.9. Or tumble. But he has a an emergency chute that if he were to tumble too fast, too many G-forces, automatic would automatically deploy. So that's another thing to watch for as long as you don't see that emergency chute come out in the first minutes of this jump. That's a very good sign. So the good signs would be no wild looking tumble or spin and no drogue shoot suddenly coming out. So then, because that air is so thin, that's the point at which 
They expect that he will break through the sound barrier. Maybe 30 seconds after he drops off, he will gradually, at the, at the again and in, in the beginning, he has no control at all, but toward toward you the 30 the second mark, he begins to get a little to control and he'll try to put his head down. The door is not coming in. Well, the, you, you, has, is the, put the dump valve all the way to the rear. Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. There it is. There's the world out there. The Rook door has opened. Roll the door open. The and door has the opened. Door stop, Felix. Door is open. Door stop is engaged. Okay, item 26. Move seat to the rear of capsule. Item 27. Lift legs into the door threshold. Are Item 28, slide the seat forward. Okay, item 29, release seat belt. Item 29, Felix, release the seat belt. Atta boy, that's good. Okay, slide forward into the rest position. Okay, uh, do you read me, Felix, on the communications? Uh, Felix, give me a short count. Okay, stow umbilical. Disconnect both oxygen supply hoses. Okay, are they disconnected? Give me a thumbs up if they're disconnected. I don't, they're still connected. Felix, disconnect the oxygen hose. Atta boy. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. Release the helmet tie-down strap. Start the cameras. And our guardian angel will take care of you. That's very, very reassuring what we've seen there. That high speed drop, and now you can see from the little dot, there's the applause. 
David, you call it in? You said something. Can't... Family applauding, but you can see by David, can you hear me? the little dot that he's in controlled descent. Two minutes into free fall. So two minutes. Uh, keep talking, Felix. Keep talking. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. Yes, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Roger, go ahead. Go ahead, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. I have been high on speed for a long time. I have like a head to pass out. For some reason. I think I'm on speed now. I'm on my turn. Still free Felix, you're really stable. You fall in three and a half minutes. Record. I have been told before because my riser is fucking up. I repeat, my riser is fucking up. I tell. So you can understand that. He said his visor was fogging up, but he's getting to warmer altitudes. There's, there's the wind the is out of the north now. at 5 to 10. Out of the north Under at 5 canopy. to 10. And you can contact floating Mike Todd safely. on this frequency. Give Mike floating Todd Floating safely a call. down Over. to earth. There's Ava Baumgartner. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. Give Mike Elated. Todd a call. Tears on this of frequency. joy Over. from Mission Control. As Felix now Felix, approaches right, uh, the ground. I hear you. The winds here are out of the east at about 10 to 15. So, so we're, we're now at 6,000 feet. This is Mission Control Felix's current altitude under the chute is 6,600 feet. I need direction. So he has the highest We're jump. We're looking for you, but we can't find you. Uh, the telemetry didn't work. There he is. There's a closer, sh closer shot from the helicopter. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. Beautiful shot. Facing that big tower. Anybody can hear? I'm facing that big tower. Okay, and the wind's out of the east. I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong information. Out of the east. All your feelings were coming your way, bud. Hurry up, I need to learn. Hurry up. Coaching her. Felix, wind is out of the east. The wind is out of the east. Under parachute, you have we see it. We're quite coming a, your way right now. Quite a bit of control by pulling Rock us. Land down in some other direction. Wind's out of the east, Felix. Wind's out of the by east. By pulling the cords, he can control a fair amount of control on his path into this landing. Now we see that scrub earth below. 
Felix's altitude is 5,800 feet. Just 5,000 feet now, so really nearing. And the altitude out there, I'm not sure of the altitude of the ground. Hey, drop from clear, guys. Drop from target clear. Luke's making the call to drop smoke, Felix. That means to We're drop a east, Felix. smoke marker from one of the helicopters. Oh, he wanted to see, I see. He wanted the smoke so he could see the wind direction. Hey, Felix, the wind is coming from the ridge. The wind is coming from the ridge. No, towards the ridge. Mark Sorry. Thompson, the, wind the is technical director the ridge. of the Red Bull Status Program, telling him that the wind is coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. We'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there, and he's down on the air. Safely, the new world record holder. Around 28,000 feet. So more than 24 miles up. Successful after all this training, all this work, all this time. There is the capsule being lowered. It has been cut away from the balloon. It's parachute deploying automatically and the capsule comes down to preserve the data and the pictures that are there. There's Stratos capsule altitude is uh, family celebrating 4,000 feet. Mrs. Baumgartner, friends, Felix Baumgartner Sr., his father, all celebrating here at Mission Control. There's the recovery helicopter very near where he landed out to the east of Roswell. Yeah, we have unofficial word there on some of those, those statistics. It was a four minute and uh, this was unofficial as they got it in mission control. Four minute Mission control and 22 shows second feet and descending. drop in free fall. So that would not break the Kittinger record for that. Would not break the record for the elapsed time of the free fall. And we'll see, did he break Mach? Those were speeds up in the 700 mile an hour mark. So I think. That's unofficial and calculated a bit differently than the instrumentation aboard his Capsule altitude, pressure suit. 8, feet and descending. But that looks like he probably broke Mark. Mock, excuse me. But we'll see. That has to wait. And he broke the record, as we mentioned, for the highest manned balloon flight. So after some tense moments, the issue in flight with the visor, which was successfully resolved. Council there you have it. Descending through Aerospace history feet. has been made today. Austrian pilot and parachutist Felix Baumgartner has done it. Made Red Bull Stratus mission to the edge of space a part of the record books. A successful climax to years of careful planning and development. Along the way, there were setbacks, snags in development of the equipment, weather delays. But today, Baumgartner and the Red Bull Stratos team are celebrating. <laughs> celebrating on the ground there at the scene now. More celebrations will follow here at Mission Control. So we're still awaiting final confirmation, but unofficially, new world records have been set for the highest free fall ever. 
the fastest free fall ever, as well as the highest ever manned balloon flight. And today was also a big win for Capsule science, altitude as the Red Bull uh, Stratos team collected 60, valuable feet. data that could ultimately help improve the safety of space travel and enable high-altitude emergency bailouts from spacecraft. The coverage doesn't end here. For more updates, including reaction from Baumgartner and the team, we encourage you to visit redbullstratos.com. So for now, this is Robert Hager saying so long from Roswell, New Mexico.